Hello everybody, tis I the rumpled one. I guess I outdid myself this weekend. You all know, or many of you may know, that I've been banned from lots of different forums on the internet, mainly in the trading world. I can remember before the internet, I got banned from a survivalist bulletin board because I was saying that the 22 caliber rifle was the best survival weapon and the guys that liked the 308s and 30 odd sixes they didn't like me saying that because I argued um, can you carry a thousand rounds of your ammo I can carry a thousand of mine a couple of 500 round bricks stick them in my pocket so anyway and they banned me in fact I think that was probably the first site that I've been banned from and then of course you guys the traders know the story of trade station and e-signal and forex factory and all those other wannabe sites but like i said i outdid myself this weekend i got banned from a minimalist group that's right a minimalist group see the minimalists um, are these two guys that they started this uh, I'll call it a fad, but actually I'm thinking it's a cult now. We'll, I'll get into that in a minute. Where, you know, they abandon their 9 to 5 jobs, their five high 5 or low 6 figure paying jobs, and they moved out to the middle of nowhere in Montana, and then they started blogging about it, and then they wrote a book, and now they're kind of like celebrities to some you know, maybe B-list celebrities or something. They've got thousands of people around the world, you know, subscribers, Twitter fans, Facebook fans, you know, the whole nine yards. And so I joined a minimalist group out of Portland, Oregon. And I started asking some questions. And basically, you know, it's good to ask questions like, you know, can you be a... A minimalist and also be a prepper I mean because they're kind of at odds because as a prepper you know you store up a lot of things but as a minimalist you keep things you know you're supposed to keep things simple and not acquire a lot of stuff and then you know I asked the question can if somebody who's overweight can they be a minimalist because obviously they've taken in more than the necessary amount of food um, and that's why they've acquired a large stature but and so far that was okay in fact a couple people even liked my post but then I started to ask him really hard questions like this one person uh, said that they they pared down they only had 33 articles of clothing in their closet including shoes and so it's sort of like well why 33 why not pair it all the way down and be a Buddhist monk and just have your orange robe or red robe or yellow robe and your rice bowl. I mean, if you're going to talk minimalism, why half-step it, right? I mean, so, because it's like, and the thing is, is to make people think about what they're doing because one of the goals of minimalism is to not be so wrapped up in stuff so you can have time to think, so you can have time to be and spend time with others. Well, then... The topper happened this weekend. Um, the minimalist sent out an email. And the email, they talked about updating your beliefs. And I'm just going to read just some snippets here. It says, when was the last time you updated your beliefs? It sounds like a strange question. After all, you believe what you believe because what you believe is true. But is it? It's a question many people never ask themselves because, frankly, it's far easier and more comfortable not to. The idea that we could be acting on faulty information and may have done so for years is a difficult pill to swallow. Even more difficult is the mind-bending process to require to test what we think we know in order to gradually establish new improved beliefs. And the first step is to acknowledge that you may believe things that are untrue. So, taking that, couldn't you apply that to minimalism itself? I mean, you think about it. There are people 
who write books about minimalism. So in other words, they're expecting you to acquire their books or go to their seminars, etc., to learn how to do with less. I mean, that's a head-scratcher. At least to me it is. In other words, what you're going to do is, you're, go you're asking me to spend money on a book or a course or a seminar or a, a, some live feed on the internet, webinar, so I can learn how to spend less money. Are you freaking kidding me? But See, it gets even better than that. See, there's this other guy that uh, they posted here on the minimalist site. Buy nothing 2014 on the path to happiness question mark. Where this guy says the year 2014 he's not buying anything. So you know I started reading some of the blog but the problem is this if you take anything to an extreme you're, you're going into the absurd. Just about what it's kind of like putting salt on something. You add a little bit, it tastes good. You add a little bit more, and now it's getting to be salty. You keep adding it, and it's absurd. Same thing with sugar. But these guys, you know, they're like praising, the, you know, and it's just like, no, it's absurd. You know, the whole idea behind this minimalist thing is to be in the present moment, to be conscious, and be mindful about what you're doing. You see, that the stuff has got nothing to do with it. You see, the stuff is a result, in many cases, of not being mindful in the first place. So, you can have plenty of stuff, but still be mindful. And So, this whole idea of minimalism is, is you know, basically it's just a fad. But these guys have elevated to like a cult. Because, once again, they banned me from the forum because... I questioned it. I asked hard questions. And I even sent them an email saying, hey, you know, what's up with this? And I'm thinking, I'm going to maybe get what I would consider, you know, maybe a reprieve. But instead, they say, we appreciate your concerns. We recognize that minimalism is not for everyone. It's a path, not the path, and it's certainly a good practice to question our beliefs to discover what works for our own situations in our own lives. You see, Minimalist Org and the Minimalist Org or Minimalist.org and the Minimalist.org Facebook groups were set up so those who have decided that minimalism is the path they like to embark upon have a place where they can receive support and encouragement from others on the same journey. We've seen the post in questions, and they don't contribute to the goals of the group or add value to the group members. There are, many, there are plenty of places where one can debate the merits of minimalism, but that's not the purpose of minimalist.org. So, in other words, what they're saying is, you know, if you come into our house of worship, you know, don't be putting down our God or our beliefs. Don't question our beliefs, even though we just sent you an email on the very same day saying that it's good to question beliefs, to update your beliefs. I mean, do you see the hypocrisy? But you see, what they're doing is they're protecting their turf. They're protecting their internet turf because that internet turf is going to generate them income. And they'll probably say, oh no, oh no, but that's the truth of the matter. You see, it's all, all these internet things are basically turf wars people carve it out. You know, I have a few groups, but it's like I have a pre couple prepper groups. If somebody came to the prepper group and said something like, you know, I think you preppers are crazy. You guys are just wasting your money. You guys are wasting your time, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to kick that person out of the group. No, what I'm going to do is, so long as they debate logically, reasonably, intelligently, and don't make personal attacks on somebody, then they're free, free to stay and free to state their position. Because maybe they thought of something I haven't. And the thing is, if I win the debate, it just makes my case that much stronger. So, you see, but these people, I told them, I said, if, you, if in your forum, if in your house, you aren't open to debate, then it's a cult. It's a religion. You've got people who are subscribing to these beliefs, basically, and let's never, ever challenge these beliefs, which goes totally contrary to the email he just put out today. 
So I doubt that you two guys, Josh, Ryan, I doubt you're going to watch this video. But if you are, I mean, I want you to think about it. I mean, really. You guys are basically hypocrites. I'm calling you out on it. And you see, I know that a lot of people might side with you. And that's okay. But the point is, the facts of the matter is, you put out an email, you said, challenge the beliefs. Challenge your beliefs. But you don't want that to happen with your belief of minimalism. I rest my case.